So, this is going to be the fourth mechanic video and going to show how the unity panel section works. Basically, if you remember the past videos, we had auto hide application menu on off switch. But then again, to make that work, we had to use patched version of leap up menu and needless to say that was going to cause some upstream breakage. Now, to, in order to make that available with the Ubuntu Software Center, breaking upstream was, well, it was not acceptable, so we had to drop the switch. Having said that, if Ubuntu implements option to not hide the application menu, you will have that in mechanic. But for the time being, there are no such plans, so we there is nothing we can do about that. Anyway, apart from the switch we drop, uh, the pretty much everything else here works pretty much. So I'm going to, to demo those that work and tell a few words about those that don't work for now. So. Basically, you have menu visible for X number of seconds here. Basically, when you open a new window and you... Oh, wait. Let me repeat that. When you open a new window, basically, this menu here shows for X number of seconds. By clicking plus and minus here, you get that menu showing up from up to 10 seconds. You can't, you can't go any further than that. You have the transparent panel switch here, which is basically rather interesting because there's a design call here, mine is out call. So basically, if I switch the switch to off, as you can see now, it's not transparent. And if I switch it to, oh, wait, wait a second, to demonstrate that, I have to switch that to off. If I switch that to on, you see how the panel gets automatically transparent to about one third of the GTK's scale here slider in non GIC language and you have the opac menu for maximize op, uh, maximize windows option enabled so if I open a window let's say now to use now wait for it to load and as you can see panel now is slightly transparent and if I go here the panel becomes completely opaque so it doesn't break with the game decoration here now that's pretty cool and it's stuff that I demanded to get implemented and as you can see it's really nifty. From indicators basically the only thing that doesn't work here is this section which will allow you to show the date or set the set some date format and display date month and year and stuff like this but th this doesn't work yet now this requires heavy amount of regular expressions and stuff like this so just give us some time to implement that that you have this display name here basically if you check that checkbox you get the name here but that doesn't work on my system oh actually it did fire it up yeah now that's pretty cool in the previous times it didn't work Anyway, who cares, now it works. Oh man. And sorry about the lagging. It's probably because I have Intel video and Kazam doesn't really play that well with Intel videos. And if you check that, you get the remaining battery time now. This doesn't work on my system, as you can see now, it's probably checked here. Yep, it's checked, but it still doesn't show up, and that's not mechanics fault. And that's pretty much it for the panel section. Basically, we all, we just have to do this thing here, and we'll be done. So, bye-bye, till the next video.